Welcome backles to Sonic Adventure 2. We're, we're picking right up where we left off. So, uh, in case you all missed it, we're chasing after the president's limousine. We've got some national treasure type stuff going on right now. We're going to go kidnap the president of the United States. Like I keep saying, this, this game is bigger and better than the last game. Maybe not better. So we're in car mode, driving on clearly the most dangerous highway in the world. So yeah, uh, the driving controls are terrible. Just I'm gonna go ahead and preface that. Oh man, okay. I honestly, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not going to explain how the driving controls work because they don't even make sense to me. So, I'm not even going to bother. So just, just watch. I don't know what those balloons do. I think they give you rings and... Oh, man. Okay. It is, yeah, this is just a hodgepodge. Got to drive past that Jeep Cherokee there. All right. Does the president even take like casual, I don't know, highways like this? I mean, this is not a casual highway by any means. This is a death highway. But there's people driving on it. I mean, they're just, <laughs> this is just a normal day in Sonic land. I mean, look at this. There's 90 degree turns. Sorry, taxi, but I gotta kidnap the president. It's only in Sonic World where a blue anthropomorphic hedgehog and a fox with two tails can chase down the president of the United States, kidnap him to get information from him. I think that's what's going on, more or less. I don't know. But look, there's we're almost there. Sorry. Yep, this is this is the level. There it is. We're keening, keening, we're ge we're gaining on them. Yeah. yeah. I found the president. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Secret Service would do something about this. Like, I don't think you can just tailgate the presidential limousine. I'm sure the president and his security are probably looking in that rearview window, losing their minds. Ooh, minigame cart racing. Three courses now available. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Oh my goodness. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. <laughs> Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman. <gasps> These are not the best looking human models. I always thought it looks funny. It looks like he has multiple arms. Otherwise. Dude, this is the presidential limousine. There's no reason why he can't get a better stream than that. Oh boy. Wait, why? There's no way the presidential limousine would be driving with the sunroof down. Wait, when did Tails get in here? I like how the secretary does not care about what just happened. 
We're in Egypt. We went from San Francisco to Egypt. I don't know why that's more important. Team Hero. Let's do. Let's do do. Alright. Next level. Hidden base. Tails. Having a good time. Let me grab this skunk. Okay. This level is a... Uh, it is a level. That's all I'm going to say. If we fall in that sinking sand, it's... It's all over. So. I will be trying my best not to fall in the sinking sand. Break open these stun tablets. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm going to try not to do it. I don't. I'm so. Con it's so confusing. Like, how did Eggman. Like, he built temple like these pyramids that have like his face all over them but you know they're stylized in like ancient like how long have these been here for how did how did he manage to pull all this off okay i don't want that ah oh, dang it you jerk it's just yeah this game you really gotta suspend a whole lot of disbelief I don't know why Eggman, you know, really decided to take over Egypt. I'm not going to die. Okay. Got a little bit worried there. Should do. Jamming, man. I'm jamming. Okay. I think we all need to take some time to admire how strong Tails is to pull this giant mech. I mean, that is no easy feat. Sonic couldn't even do that. I don't even know if Tails, I don't even know if Knuckles could do that. Oh, wait. I did a stupid... Wait. What do I do now? Okay. We're good. We're good. Alright, here we go again. Swole tails here. Wait. Uh, wrong way. No, wait. Right way. Oh, messed it up. Dang it. I mean, this pyramid looks like it's been here for like, you know, thousands of years, but it's got Eggman's face all over it. Unless maybe the people that Eggman, his descent, his great descendants ruled the pyramids and he's just taking back what's rightfully his. I don't know. I did a long way. I don't know. Didn't mean to do that. Come on. Okay. Yeah, tight. That was tight. Ah. Oh, dang it. I messed it up. Could have taken the shortcut. But got to settle for the long cut. Yeah. 
That's good. I like that. That felt good. Felt really good. Gotta get that goal! I did it! We did it. We did it, Tails. Man. 55 out of 119 rings. Wow. Hey yo! All right, we're doing Sonic Pyramid Cave. Run, run, run as fast as I can. You get points if we go through these uh, rings, so I'm gonna try and be as stylish as I can be. The music is so good in this level. So I'm gonna try and be quiet so the eagle can uh, enjoy it. Ugh, go away, little much. I didn't mean it. Ask for your advice. Oh, camera. Okay. Wrong button. Oh, messed that up. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, perfect. Every one of Sonic's levels. There's Game of Ding Dong. It's not really him. They're evil clones. All right, uh, Sonic's second upgrade? Sure, bounce, no, third, uh, bounce bracelet. The bounce bracelet. Press the B button while I'm in air to use the bounce attack. Press B button again. This, yeah, um, this is a really good upgrade. And I almost died. <laughs> Let's see, bounce and gain new height. It's, I really like it. Definitely one of the best, uh, new upgrades that this game has the new original upgrades. Oh, man. Put this thing in the, in the thing, in the other thing, and let's keep going. Avoid that ghosty boy. Get out of my, get out of my face. Get out of my ump. He has to give you a hug for whatever reason. And then he just disappears. His whole purpose is to mildly inconvenience you. Ugh. No! Ugh, really? I'm gonna try and light speed attack this. Okay. That didn't go as well as I planned it to. Peacock. I did it. Whoops. Oh, dang, I didn't mean to throw that. All right, I'm a chow. Dang it. I don't want to talk to you, Omo Chow. Oh, really? Where did you come from? Oh, man. Okay. I'm not going to make... Wait, did I hit the timer? There's supposed to be... There's a door at the end of this. Man, these guys are everywhere. Okay. All right. guess I did. Uh, that was uh, coming out that at a weird angle. Ah, right, we're doing well, I think. We're doing well in my heart. It feels really, really wrong to be killing. Let's not say kill. Let's just say destroy these gamma-looking guys. Especially after how, you know... Gamma's story ends, you know. Oh, 
great camera angles. And there it was. So that's one of my complaints. Another one of my complaints against this game is that the Sonic levels are undoubtedly the best levels in the game. I kind of just want a game that's... It'd be amazing if this game was just Sonic levels. They're just by far better, way better and more fun than the Knuckles and the Tails levels. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. Of course, yeah. A spaceship and a pyramid, yeah. That... Get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. That was the weirdest thumbs up I've ever seen in my life. All right, Knuckles. Death Chamber. For a level with the name Death Chamber, the music is so calm and relaxing. All right. So we're going to go in here and get Knuckles. Third. Keep wanting to say second. The third upgrade. The hammer gloves. Basically, his punches are stronger and can break iron. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, this level is... All of Knuckles' levels are annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Disclaimer that. So, it's a level that's kind of like circular in design. No, triangular. And there's the map. So there's a red area, green area, and a blue area that you can go, you know, travel between. Um, let me get a TV or just to give me some kind of an idea of where to go. Golden Goddess. Yeah, that... Mm, mm, I don't... I don't think I know where that is. Gonna need another clue. No more clues in here. Blue path. Ah, it's in the blue path. Yeah. No! Does this open? Okay. Alright. Blue. Bloobers. Where are you? Oh, camera. This is going to just teleport us to... Okay, here we go. We got a hunch. So yeah, for the first time ever, we're not searching for Master Emerald pieces. So I guess Knuckles can find anything, I guess. Alright, we got a hunch. Yellow. Is it down here? No. Uh, it's here. Alright. Where to? In the treasure chest. That doesn't help at all. There's like 500 treasure chests here. In this level. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna keep moving. Ugh. Go away, Gamma. They don't deserve to be called Gamma. They're, I'm going to call them Shlamas. From here on out, they are Shlamas, not Gammas. Alright. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going. Ugh, really? So, funny thing, I haven't talked about this yet. Um, all of Knuckles' music and for his levels, the lyrics for all the rap and stuff, the lyrics consist of basically, it's like, it's Knuckles. The singer is Knuckles. And he's basically describing what he is and what he's trying to do at this point in the story. What was that? Small room with four pillars. Wait, I never got that clue. Secret room that you can enter from the area next to the blue room. From the area next to the blue room. 
But anyways, um, so yeah, all the lyrics, if you listen to them, you can go and listen to the soundtrack for Knuckles' levels. So this is the entrance, right? Or is the entrance... Hmm. 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 Alright, I, I, I want to finish this. Um, you can look through the soundtrack for Knuckles. And, yeah, all the lyrics for his songs are all about what is going on right now in the story, in Knuckles' story and, like, what he's up to. And, uh, it's really funny. But the real gem is the lyrics for this song, for Death Chamber. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, the lyrics for Death Chamber has a hilarious part where the singer, he's not even rapping, he's just doing a dialogue between Knuckles and Sonic where he is both the voice of Knuckles and Sonic. And the best part is, he doesn't do anything to differentiate the voices between each other. So it just sounds like he's talking to himself. It's just the funniest thing. So, if you want a good laugh at just the total weirdness then, uh, I need to beat up this ghost. That's not something you hear every day. Um, go look up Death Chamber on, like, YouTube, the music. Specify Sonic Adventure 2, yeah, because you don't want to, you don't want to find something you don't want to be looking at, because there's a lot of that kind of stuff on YouTube, so. I clarified, so don't be coming at me. And blaming me. Okay. Nope. Nope. Right here? Is it here? There it is. I have no idea what grade I'm gonna get. Hey! My first my first knuckles a rank wow i didn't think i did that great but i guess i did oh boy this this is my favorite boss fight in the whole game what the a ghost <laughs> it's just so it's so good it is so good king boom boo the king of ghosts the, clearly the dumbest looking ghost I've ever seen. And Knuckles is like, oh, a ghost. Man, when I was a kid, oh man, I would laugh so hard. This dude has the funniest voice. He's got a rainbow tongue, for crying out loud. Anyways, I should probably describe what I'm trying to do here. I, I just love this guy so much. He's also, his name is obviously, ah, oh man, I'm not going to get a second hit on him. Darn. <laughs> I love his voice. Um, it's obvious that Nintendo has the claims on King Boo. So Sega, Sonic Team, in order to differentiate the two, decides to add boom in between so you have king boo for nintendo and then king boom boo for sonic and just oh man so good get back here ah dang it so you can get if you're good enough if you're fast enough quick on the trigger um you can get like two hits on them even three if you're really good I mean, his voice, they didn't do anything to make him scary sounding. Like, no reverb or... It's just... It's just some guy on a microphone just going... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, alright, here we go. This is my chance. Let's see if I can get him. Put this fight to an end. A S A B. Oh, 
Oh, dang it. I'm not going to be getting that second hit in. I don't think so. Ah, oh, almost. But man, this guy is really something. Why does he have a rainbow tongue? I just... How does giving him a rainbow tongue add to his fear factor? It's just a mystery. It is a real mystery. Also, Knuckles, when he runs fast, I don't know why, but they got rid of his animation where, you know, when he runs fast enough, he puts his, his hands and his arms behind his back. Wow, really? So he doesn't do that in this game. So when he runs really fast, it just looks really weird. It looks crazy. All right, here we go. Bye-bye. But yeah, let me see if I can... I mean, look how fast. You can't even move your limbs that quickly if you wanted to. What a hassle. It wasn't really. We did it. Let's go, Amy. Yeah. <gasps> uh oh. Just leave it to me. Leave it to the boy. Ooh, wow, that's metal. Eggman's got such a jam, like such a slapping main theme in this game. All right, so we go from one boss fight to a, another boss fight as Sonic. We're gonna fight the Egg Golem. I think this is the first time in Sonic's history you go from one boss fight to another boss fight. Maybe not. Oh wow, I messed that up. All right, so um, it's not the first time in Sonic's history that I just realized that. But anyways, to fight this boss, you just go behind his back, jump on these platforms, attack these, and then attack the big thing on his head, and then just rinse and repeat. We haven't gotten to the challenging boss fights yet. We're not even close. If we wanted to, I think we could do a light speed attack, but... I I don't think it does extra damage like it could in the first game. I'm gonna chill here. Oops. Eh. All right. Two more times, I guess. Oh, he's doing it again. I'm going to try and do the light speed attack. Yeah, it doesn't do extra damage. Okay. So now he just starts headbutting him like into the platforms like a total dingus. This is a, yeah, this is a really easy boss fight. So and skadoosh. Better Oh, oh, I don't think he deserved that insult, Sonic. Dude, dude, chill, just chill, bro. All right, so somehow Eggman has a NASA rocket ship just chilling inside of a pyramid. Don't, who is counting down right now? Why is there a totally normal dude inside of a pyramid doing a countdown for a NASA space shuttle? In an Eggman pyramid in Egypt. It makes no sense. It just makes no sense. There's so much going on. It's not even like an Eggman looking space shuttle. It's like straight up NASA. So this is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. This is my favorite cutscene in the whole game, and you guys will see why. 
It's so good. It is so good. Oh man, it's so funny. Anyway, trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted. Dust too. This place was shut down about fifty years ago because of a terrible accident. Oh, here we go. Exposition tales. Space colony called Ark. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now, now it's an abandoned Ark, wouldn't you say? But um, that didn't make sense. I don't know why I did that. Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, brah. Yeah, brah. How did he download a map for this thing? It looks like it doesn't it. But in fact, Man, Tails has everything inside this. He like never has to get out of it. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the Chaos Emeralds. Of course. Yes, and blow up. Even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is switch the chaos emeralds when the machine is stopped, right? Of course. I hate you. You guys always leave me behind and have all the fun. Love that echo. It's a good echo. All right. I'm going to cut it right here. Uh, we'll finish off the rest of the hero story in the next episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. I feel like I'm wrapping this up really fast, but yeah. All right. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Take care, everybody. And, uh, I'll see you on the next episode.